Hey, what's going on YouTube? Here I am doing another video. And today's video is what I bring camping. So I carry about three of these bins that just goes into the bed of my truck and then some other stuff that I put in the bed of the truck that I'll show you. And also uh, a fridge and some cool stuff that goes in the back seat. So let's get right into it. All right, so getting in the first bin, I have it labeled as kitchen. So it's kind of just all my kitchen stuff. First things first we got in here, we have the Sea to Summit kitchen sink thing. It's like a bin that opens up and it's like sink. Pretty nice, kind of nice to have, you know, to do dishes. I also have another sink in here. Two is better than one. You know, just got paper towels. That's a necessity for camping to wipe stuff up. Then I got a whole bunch of propane that I'll take out of here. And then I have a little backup stove. It's the MSR little tiny foldable stove. It's pretty sweet. I uh, got some extra plates, you know, disposable plates is always nice when you don't want to do dishes. I got some dish soap for doing dishes. I put it in these bags because I have had them explode and get all over my stuff. So learn once and you fix that problem. I have a nice little mess kit with some uh, extra plates. This has, you know, cup and plates and bowls and stuff in it. And we'll move on to here. I always carry at least two meals from here, from a mountain house, just in case whenever, like say your fridge stops working and all your food goes bad, you always got something to eat. Honestly, if you never tried them, don't hate on them. They are pretty good. All you do is add boiling water and they actually taste better than what you think they would. And I have tried them. Then I have the front runner, uh, forks, knives, and cutting board kit. This thing's awesome, used it a bunch. I actually have two different kits for like forks and knives and stuff um, because they both kind of carry a little bit of different stuff. All right, and then we'll move on. I have this GC or GSI uh, pan, pretty nice pan. It's like the non-stick and then the handle removes so it's easy to store it. I'll set this over here. And I got this nice big GSI pot kit. So there's a bunch of pots and pan, or not really pans, but just pots, different size pots. This is pretty nice. Set that right there. And then here we are. In this bag, I just put it in a bag to keep them together. I have a thing of Ziploc bags, you know, for food and stuff. And then some trash bags. Always bring trash bags, never be that guy. I do have a sponge for dishes, self-explanatory. I got this cool drying rack that just like folds up like this. I don't want to fold it up right now because it is kind of hard to put away. I got this from REI. Uh, the brand is F-O-Z-Z-I-L-S, Fossils. But yeah, it's pretty cool to dry your dishes. Then I have this cool collapsible sink that you kind of just like push out. Got it from REI also. So you kind of just, you know, you can hang it from somewhere or just set it down on your tailgate, wash your dishes in there, collects all that nasty water, and you can go dump it somewhere. Then I got the GSI outdoor tool, or uh, not tool kit, um, you know, silverware, knives, cutting board. Has a couple other things for like, you know, storing spices and stuff. This thing's pretty nice. So I do carry two, two of them. Then I have the GSI outdoor stove. Thing's been pretty well. Um, I'm probably gonna upgrade to the jet boil one sooner or later because it's a lot smaller than this and you can kind of control the flame a little bit better. So that's it for the stuff in my kitchen bin. So we'll move on to the other bins. All right, let's get into the next bin and see what we got here. So I got one of these portable bathrooms, portable toilets, mainly for the woman in my life, Morgan, my beautiful girlfriend. So I got that, kind of nice to have. Got a buddy heater for winter. Probably don't need to uh, take it right now because it's summer, but who knows, I like to have it. Got uh, a city bonfire thing. It's like this, kind of like a candle, but doesn't smell like anything. And it burns like a flame this pretty, like that big. Got it from my mom for Christmas, so thank you, mom. Set that over here. Let's see. I got these cool full body wipes called Clean Freak. These things are awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Especially for the price. There's like 120 wipes in here. I think this is like 50 bucks. 
but the wipes are like giant. They're huge body wipes that they're freaking awesome. And they'll last you a couple years probably. Depends how much you use them. Then I have some of the toilet low bag things. Got some hand warmers. That's always nice to have. The best ones to have are super warmers. What I do is I take a couple of these, stuff them in some socks in the winter, throw them in my bag. Your bag's nice and warm when you get to bed. That's a good tip to have. Then I have this fun little like slingshot thing. Like you put a, you know, a pellet or, you know, like the slingshot pellets that are metal. You just pull it back and let it rip. This is just a fun camp thing to mess around with. I have a whole bunch of wires and sponges for right here. My geyser shower. This is the heating one that plugs into my portable power. This thing's awesome. I pro tip for you guys, if you have an REI next to you, go to the garage sale section and see all the clearance and returns and stuff like that. This and a couple other things that I'm gonna show you today, I got there for like more than half off. This is like, I think 350, $300 brand new. I think I picked it up for like 120 used. I tested it, they brought me water, made sure it worked, and now it works ever since. So, good way to save money and get quality stuff. Definitely recommend them. And then I have this thing that you know blows up mattresses just in case I have a buddy that needs help and the air mattress in my uh, the eye camper. Um, I think I just replaced this with the eye camper version, but it's still in here, all right. Now I just have a whole bunch of different wires. Some of this goes to my EcoFlow stuff and one's just kind of like an extension cord. And then all I got left is more pellets for that slingshot. So that's the end of this box, kind of just miscellaneous stuff, but hey, here it is. We'll move on to the next box. All right, last container to go. All right, first things up, I got this kick-ass fan. I put it on, I, it has hooks put it on top of the rooftop tent in the summer, gets the air moving. Honestly, it feels amazing. Highly recommend that, especially if you're summer camping. And then I have some Devos light um, covers. I'll show you the light in a second. This just changes the color. At Overland Expo, Toyota is giving out free lanterns. So there's one of those. Nice to have, always good to have light. Here's a little light puck that I hang at the top of the rooftop tent and it's awesome light. It has a whole bunch of colors. Pretty sweet, good light, easy recharge, small battery. Then I have this Goal Zero Solar light and you can also recharge it, also a power bank. Kind of just fun to have, I just set it out on the table that charge with the solar and there we go, extra power. More power is always good power. Then I just have a whole bunch of cables that goes to my like my fridge and my solar and stuff like that. Then I have two of these solar powered little light things. Kind of fun just to hang around camp. You have light different areas. I kind of put one under my bed. So when we're cooking and stuff, kind of good light. And then I used to hang one in the tent, but you know, it's always good to have plenty of light. And then I have two of these mosquito solar powered mosquito killers, bug killers. And they also like, uh, also look like a campfire when you turn them on. I don't know if you can see that, but there we go. And it attracts bugs and lights them up. So that's nice to have. And then I had one of these before, but I lost it. So I went and picked up another one. This mini table is actually really sweet. It's from Nemo. I'll go ahead and open it for you guys because this thing is pretty awesome. So it just comes in this cool little thing. So this is like a table that goes next to your camp chair. You know, it's not like a cooking table, but it opens like this. And you just take these feet, if the feet were going, and you just stick them in this hole right here and tighten it up. So I'll get these in and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so now that we got the feet all in, this is how big it is, it sits down. I'd say that's a little over a foot maybe, or a foot. Pretty sweet, nice little camp table next to your camp chairs. Works out pretty well. All right, so now that I got that put away, here we go, I have a Hest pillow. This is probably the most comfortable camp pillow you can freaking buy. They're expensive, I think I picked it up for like 80 bucks or something. So it has this nice like durable outside thing. So all you do is unzip it, grab the pillow, pull it out, you know, 
cinch it like this, and you can re-zip it, and you have an extremely comfortable camp pillow. I don't recommend this enough. This is amazing. In my eye camper, I already have a couple pillows, I think, already in there, like smaller ones, ones that look like this, but I always bring extra pillows because more pillows is fun, and I had the room for it. So let me get this put together, and I'll show you the rest. All right, now that we got that put away, the other item I have in here is a 110 watt solar panel kit for my EcoFlow. So what I do is I'll show you my EcoFlow things in a second. Uh, I have a bigger one and a smaller one. The bigger one runs my fridge, the smaller one we keep in the tent. I put this on my roof, run the wire into my tent to the smaller one, so during the day it charges and at night we can charge our phones. And the only thing left I have in here, an extra, another pillow, this is like a nice cooling one for summer. And then got a beer pong kit, beer pong kit, you know, just for fun at camp. So that's the, that's everything in this. So we'll get on to the next stuff. All right, so the next thing I always bring, I know this is kind of counterintuitive to camping, but this is Starlink. We do have Starlink, a nice little carrying case, so don't get damaged. I think it's water resistant. It's pretty nice. It is kind of big, but hey, when you're out in the middle of nowhere, sometimes you just like to watch a movie at night when you go to bed. So I just hook it up to my power bank and then boom, we have internet. It's extremely fast, very fast, very impressive. The only thing is, is if you're in like pine trees, you kind of don't really have an open camp. It doesn't work the best because it kind of needs a lot of open area to work. But hey, it's fun to bring, fun to do a movie. Sometimes people have projectors in a bed sheet. Easy to just load up any movie you want on Amazon Prime or whatnot. So it is fun to have, it is expensive, but you know, it's fun to have. All right, for water, I bring either both of these or one of these. Both of them is when I bring, when I'm doing kind of a long, maybe two to three nights camp trip. Uh, it's just good to have water. This I use for washing dishes, putting the fire out, or just, I don't know if someone has a dog, you can fill that up too. This I fill it up with drinking water. I think this is two or three gallons and it will keep it cold for a couple days. It's pretty impressive. Uh, the brand is Mana, M-A-N-A. Pretty sweet, uh, you know, it has a little drinking nozzle that you unscrew, unscrew and stuff. So yeah, shorter trips, one-nighters, I will bring this and a case of water. It's kind of no need to bring that for just a one-nighter. So yeah, here's my water setup, and then I also do bring a nice case of like 42 or 24 water bottles. And then a couple other things that I do bring that doesn't really fit in the bins, kind of wish it did. This thing's just a tad too bigger. Is the Devos Light Ranger, that's what they call it. So it says cool camp light for when you can't run a fire. I live in Arizona, so we always have fire restrictions. Has a bipod. This thing goes pretty high. I'm not exactly sure how high, but it does get up there. So those covers that I saw you unscrew this and hook it on, there was like amber, red, and I think yellow or something. And all you do is click this button and man, that is bright. And it cycles through. It says there's four lights. You can cycle through them all. There's all of them. Three, two, one. Pretty sweet, really bright. They do sell like a solar thing adapter, but I didn't get it. It looked kind of like a pain to store. And um, I have solar generators to recharge this if I need to. So far, you don't really use this for hours on end because you don't need to. So this honestly lasts, one charge will last you probably a couple camping trips. And then the next thing I have is I have this awesome uh, Mount Sum or Mountain Summit Gear Heavy Duty Roll, roll Top Table Large. Uh, the dimensions are 47 by 28 by 28 or 119 uh, centimeters by 71 centimeters by 71 centimeters. So this is the table I bring. I do have a Tacoma. At the end of the video, there will be a pop-up if you wanna watch the walk around of my truck. So I do have a tailgate with an awesome snail armor insert. 
So that's basically a table paired with this and paired with that small one. That's all the space I need. And this packs down really small. I just put this in between the bed, uh, the tailgate and the deck system and it fits snug there. Uh, people can't steal it because the deck kind of like loops out at the top. So it gets locked in there and it's awesome to have. So we'll move on to the next stuff. All right, some of the next stuff that I do bring, I bring a BB gun. You know how fun it is just shooting stuff? Like putting a can out there and shooting it, make sure you throw it away. And I just bring extra, you know, BBs. It's so fun. This is like 40 bucks at uh, Walmart and then another 10 bucks for BBs. You just cock and shoot. So much fun, you know, just for passing time and having fun with friends. And then I bring the kick-ass uh, shower. So I have the shower mounted on my truck and this is the base. So you're not stepping on dirt while washing, while taking a shower. That's kind of counterintuitive. So this is the base for that. All right, we'll move on to the next. All right, so some other things that I do bring camping are two power banks. This one's the 288 watt hour and this is 720 watt hours. So this is the one that I put in my eye camper for phones, laptops or whatever, or even uh, flashlights to charge. And then I run the solar through the window to the 110 watt solar panel that I showed you guys. And this one's backup power to run the fridge. Well, and if the fridge is running perfectly fine off the batteries, we can charge stuff with this too. So I always bring these two. They do last, I'd say this probably lasts me two nights at camping and then they need a recharge. Um, I would like to get one of like the 2000 watt hours or 1000 watt hour ones, but this is what I got now. Uh, I, rec I highly rec recommend EcoFlow. They're really well made. Um, I really like the interface and just how they've designed it. And honestly, their website and just all the products that they have, like they have an air conditioner and fridges too. All right, so we'll move on to the next. All right, the next thing I do bring that I put in the back seat is this Dometic CFX. I don't know the exact model. I got it used at REI in the used section. So I looked it up. This fridge was about 1500 bucks brand new. The used section at REI works perfectly fine. Works good. This thing was 200 bucks. So that was an easy uh, purchase for myself. Um, I know they sell a smaller version. This is the bigger version of this type of lid style. It's not a freezer. It's just a fridge. I don't, I've never had a use case for a free, uh, freezer for camping. I've never done like a week or two long trip, so maybe then I would. But uh, yeah, this works really fine. It's pretty compact, fits great in the Tacoma backseat. Um, I did have a custom cigarette outlet put in for the backseat. So when I'm driving, I plug this in there and it runs off my truck. And then I also made it hot for when the truck's off. And then this has a setting on there to uh, just to see where the battery's at. And you can put a high, medium, or low for it to kill it, like stop working if the battery gets too low. So I have a lens on solar, I actually sent out a hood solar panel for my truck uh, that's connected to my battery. And I will have a dual battery set up. So my goal is to have this strictly run off my truck battery while I'm at camp for a couple days. I have that lens on solar thing in, and the next week I'm getting a solar panel put on my iCamper. So I think it's about 140 watts of solar ran to my dual battery setup when I get it. So that is my fridge setup. All right, last but not least, I have this awesome VanQuest backpack that I bring. And I always recommend to everyone to have a backpack of stuff that you don't want to dig for when you're camping. So I got a couple umbrellas there and then some cool patches from Overland Expo. I actually got this backpack at Overland Expo West. So here I have lighters and matches and some lights, just easy access, some chapstick. Just make it easy at camp to find stuff because you know, you're always digging for a lighter or something. So I can just run to this backpack and I know exactly where it is. We open the bigger pocket. I got a whole bunch of chargers. Probably should put that in a bag. Lighters, like four headlamps. And what else have we got in here? Two more headlamps. <laughs> I have my towel for when I want to clean up. Uh, I also have another towel that's sitting in my truck that I did not put in this kit. And I also have a mat that I got from REI too that like makes it where it's sandproof. So like sand just falls right through it so I can put it at the base of my eye camper. So that's all I keep in this bag. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of it. I think I've showed you guys everything that I do bring camping. You might be asking, where are your chairs? 
Well, I keep two big Agnes chairs in my deck system. So when me and my girlfriend go to the lake or whatnot, we always have our chairs. And then those just come with me when I go camping. Um, that will be in an updated uh, what I keep in my truck video probably within a couple months. So if you want to see those, you can. Uh, if you have any questions about the stuff that I have shown you, um, easiest way to contact me would be on Instagram. So just shoot me a DM there and I'll let you know where I got it or what it is if you're not too sure on a brand or whatnot. So that's gonna be the end of the video. Pretty much covered everything. Um, the only other stuff I would say is I do bring a firearm and then whatever your EDC is camping and then obviously appropriate camp clothes like Sitka or QU, that's what I bring. So yeah, that's basically it guys. Thanks you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the upgraded mic and camera quality. Trying to uh, make it big, man, on YouTube. All right, guys, well, don't forget to follow my Instagram, that one third gen. Like, comment, and subscribe. Comment what you think of my camp setup. Comment what I should add or take away, what's useless, or just your opinion on it. All right, guys, you have a good one.